As the spring and summer comes to an end, that means golf season is coming to an end as well. And while that does mean that we are officially in football season, playing a round of 18 on a Saturday or a round of nine with the boys on a Friday night is always a blast. Well, it doesn't have to end just yet. There are still some nice weather days ahead of us, so make sure you get your colder weather golf gear and apparel covered. Stock up on some polos for next summer because you and I both know that new polos will help fix your slice about as much as the 50 Good Good Golf and Rick Shields videos that you have saved in your golf playlist on YouTube. Use code SLEEPER or the link in the description below to get 10% off all your hoodies, quarter zip, pullovers, hats, beanies, t-shirts, or polos. And if you're like me, then your motto out on the links is look good and play good. With Shank at Golf, you might still shank, but at least you know you will definitely look good. Welcome back to the Sleeper Sports Media Podcast. This is going to be episode 42, part one, as I my assignment for this month, for, for this class this month, this week, is to record and make a podcast. So I am going to do part part one is going to be tonight. Uh, I just got done recording the ads for this, which aren't really, they're ads, but they're not really ads. Um, I mean, I am technically an ambassador for, for Shanky Golf, but nothing not making any any kind of money for these unless the good people that view listen watch and subscribe to my channel and follow on spotify facebook twitter all the socials where you can find sleeper sports media unless you good people buy go buy some some shank golf merch um, which i highly recommend but the <clears throat> the this part of the podcast, episode 42, is going to consist of the week uh, week five NFL picks and fast lane predictions. So as of right now, it looks like looks like there's only five matches for fast lane. Might might get one more added added tonight. I highly doubt it. This has been not a very good not a very good build to the to the premium live event. Uh, it's not going to have any nowhere near be as it's not going to be as good anywhere near the level of Russell dream and Adam Copeland's debut. I, I think maybe, maybe a Jade cargo debut could, could put it up there, but I don't, uh, there's rumors that she's going to be in Indy and she might, she might debut. She might be there. She might be there in some way. She might get involved. My guess is that she will just be ringside and they're going to show her. And that's going to be that. Going down the match card again, according to Wikipedia, as they always are, Seth freaking Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura in a last man standing match for the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm going to pick Seth to retain and possible Damian cash in. Uh, don't care for this feud. Don't not a fan of Shinsuke, not a fan of the Japanese subtitles on his promos. Not a fan of this angle, making Seth look weak when he's been literally the workhorse champion. And that's where his back injury comes from. Um, so Seth to retain with possible possible cash in for, of Senior Money in the Bank. Then we got the number two match on the card, according to Wikipedia. But I believe this is going to be an event because whenever I typed in Fastlane for Wikipedia, the t- uh, the tag match was in the John Cena was on the poster, and the match that was listed potentially as the main event was the tag match: John Cena and LA Knight versus the Bloodline, Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa with Paul Heyman. It's got to be John Cena and LA Knight getting the win um, with LA Knight getting the pin on Jimmy or or getting the pin on Solo, which will then lead into, I believe, will lead into possible Roman coming back the following week and then calling out LA Knight. They have like a little a little here and there, or maybe it's both John Cena, LA Knight and Roman Reigns that have the the segment and then that leads into the rumored John Cena versus Roman Reigns at at the Crown Jewel event in Saudi even though that's now not the rumored the rumored way that they're going it's going to be AJ Styles and Roman Reigns. Then we have the triple threat match for the WWE Women's Championship Io Sky versus Asuka versus Charlotte Flair. I like Charlotte Flair to win this one. I think Charlotte Flair winning this and holding the title until Charlotte Flair winning this by pinning Asuka so Io stays protected. And then Charlotte Flair holding it until Mania, which then Jade Cargo wins the Royal Rumble. And then we get Cargo and 
Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania, which is now rumored to be the way that they're going to go. You know, Sky can stay in the in, in the title picture and go back and forth with Charlotte, but I think Charlotte winning in this sense i mean eo i don't know it's just the champions that that don't speak english well or speak english at all i don't know i mean bailey's basically her mouthpiece and that's i mean that's boring unless that's that's the way bailey's going to be for for the foreseeable future which is not then we have so i got again charlotte winning uh pinning oscar and eo sky not involved in the in the decision there and then we got the six-man tag match Latino World Order versus Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. This is going to be my bathroom match because the the LWO it does nothing, does nothing for me. I they don't even know who the third partner is going to be. It says Rey Mysterio, Santos Escobar, and then either Jacon Wildy or Cruz de Del Toro. I don't even know who those guys are. When the one time they came up and I, who is this guy? Uh, so I got Bobby and the Profits to win as they should. And then the main event listed on Wikipedia, the judgment day versus Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso. So both Usos and solo involved in this pay-per-view premium live event. Wonder if they're going to show any backstage segments of Jay walking into and around getting involved with the bloodline as they get ready for the, for their matches on the night. I th- that's going to be interesting. Um, not sure on this one. I think it would be cool to see Cody and Jay win and then throw more attention onto the Judgment Day. Um, as their the previous level of tension was just resolved since Dom Dom got his title back. Um, but Finn and Damien, they could lose, and then that could lead into Damien then cashing in, which would then e- spir- make Finn spiral even more. That's my fast lane picks. Again, Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso. I want them to win. I don't necessarily think they're going to. I don't know who I would have win in this situation. Uh, Lashley and the Profits over the LWO. Charlotte Flair over Io Sky and Asuka. Cena and LA Knight over the Bloodline. And Seth Rollins over Shinsuke Nakamura. And then the second part of this first part of episode 42 of the Sleeper Sports Media Podcast is going to be my NFL Week 5 predictions i missed getting a video out last night for thursday night but the bears over the commanders i was feeling the bears it was time to for them to get their win i don't just don't think the commanders can can stay consistent enough to to win so then we got sunday it looks like is that another london game so sunday october 8th at 9 30 we got the jags jags and the bills I like the Bills, but I mean the Jags in London, they're a different breed. I Trevor Lawrence, he's he's better than what what I wanted to think than you know the last couple of years. His record doesn't show it. Um Bills over Jags. Then we got what well, the first one o'clock game, Patriots and Saints. I'm gonna go with the Patriots. Then we got Titans and Colts. Gonna go Colts. My game of the week and what will be talked about on the second half of this podcast with my interview with Keenan of Exceptional Sports News, Raven Steelers. This Raven Steelers week, best rivalry in the AFC North, possibly best rivalry in football. I'm going Steelers over the Ravens, even though no one on ESPN Get Up is going with the Steelers. Not even Ryan Clark is picking the Steelers, and that's their backs are against the wall with this one. I mean, they are cannot go into a bye week. Losing two in a row. Not only that, but losing losing out on first place, sole f- possession of first place in the division. Big time, big time game this week. Kenny is going to play. He was removed off the injury report today. Practice was a full participant in practice, and I'm very excited. Matt Canada, you have one more chance. Sincerely, everyone in Steelers Nation. Then we got the Panthers and Lions. Going with the Lions. No hesitation on this one. Uh, Texans and Falcons. Going to go with with the Texans. Giants, Dolphins, going to go with the Dolphins. Hopefully, Chase Claypool has a can, can see some action on the field and can make something happen. Never wished for the trade to go down the way that it did. Didn't even want him traded. It worked out more for the Steelers than it did for the Bears as they lost 14 straight since the trade and just won for the first time last night. And now he finds himself traded again to Miami. 
Um, wish him nothing but the best and would love to see him succeed wherever he goes. So the, the Dolphins over the Giants. And we got the Bengals and Cardinals. I want the Cardinals to win just so that's another loss for the Bengals. But, I mean, the way the Bengals have been versus the way the Cardinals have been, they've both been up and down. Um, and uh, Joe Burrow, I mean, he keeps playing, so he cannot get healthier the more he keeps playing. I'm going to go Cardinals over Bengals. And we got Eagles and Rams. Eagles, Jets and Broncos are going to go with the Jets. Chiefs, Vikings are going to go with the Chiefs. That is the, those are the 425 games. And then we got the Sunday night game, Cowboys and Niners. I think this could be a real, this probably is going to be a good, good game. Um, going to go Cowboys to give the Niners their first loss. And probably now that I've picked the Cowboys, they're probably going to get destroyed. And then I'm going to have fun laughing at my own expense. Then we got the Monday night game, Packers and Raiders. I'm going to go with the Packers. Jordan Love bouncing back and having another good game. And that will conclude this first half of the Sleeper Sports Media Podcast. Stay tuned for the second part. And follow on YouTube, Twitter, all of that good stuff. Spotify will be out soon. Apple Podcasts is new that I just got to work. So it's on there too. So stay tuned for the second part of episode 42 of the Sleeper Sports Media Podcast. I'm your host, Nick Witosh, and I will talk to you very, very soon. This episode of the Sleeper Sports Media Podcast is brought to you by StreamYard. If you want the best of both worlds for all your broadcasting needs, then check out the link in the description below and sign up for a StreamYard account. There are three levels of accounts. Plans start at $25 a month, and you only get more, for, more bang for your buck with the next two being professional and business accounts. There's also a free account, but this limits the tools and features that you get. Going live on multiple different social media sites has never been easier to do at one time using StreamYard. Adding and customizing graphics seen on screen from your stream is available as well, and you have the options to record video and download the audio, video, or both. That is perfect for podcasting or live streaming.